All right, guys, welcome back. So, we went and bought another car. I've got a BMW X1 X, uh, S Drive 18D. It's a two litre. Literally, all it is is this front end. It's a bumper, headlight, wing mirror, um, and then a couple odds and bobs, but mainly that's it. Let me just try and open it. There we go. Oh, there is a if you can see that on camera a little bit of a dint on the over there but apart from that it's all right yeah headlight expensive as anything bumper expensive as anything <laughs> but <laughs> you know it's got washer jets it's got parking sensors it's a fully kitted bumper so this um plastic duct bit i have bought that i've got it that's missing for some reason. But I've bought one of them. I'm saying that, I didn't even check if it's in the engine bit, but it could just be somewhere. I'll have a deek, but I have bought a new one. So I need that as well. So these are Xeon headlights, so a couple of bob. You can see the wings are spot on. Gaps lovely. Wing mirrors are heated and folding, so they were expensive. This is the interior. Fully electric seats. Took the door card off for the wing mirror so we could fix it. Grant's on it now. Literally these these bits here, have you got the old? Mm -hmm. oh, they snapped there, so it's been hit and it's snapped. So you can literally just buy one of these to replace it, which I didn't know. But I do now. So that should serve as a couple quid on that this plastic cover for the interior mirror I need to replace but yeah we're just basically just taking this wing mirror off so just take the door card off and then there's like three bolts there's two bolts there and one behind this removed all that but lovely spec car to be fair I mean it's not the M Sport or anything but it's got electric seats and stuff nice steering wheel not got heat not got heated seats though which is quite interesting six speed manual uh, it's got ninety five thousand miles on it so nice mileage it's very dirty though backs dirty but that's nothing this is the worst of it yeah disgusting <laughs> grant said he'll clean that though didn't you grant yeah, he's, he said he'll do that by hand, didn't you? Don't lick, don't lick it clean. Doesn't even need gloves, he said. He quite likes working with mould. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a couple of, like, these caps or... Because the bump doesn't come with it, so thank you, we've got them. So, like, 20 quid each. All adds up eventually. But, yeah, this is the old wing mirror. And that's literally the only damage on it. You know, this cap needs repainted, basically. Plastic's all fine. Okay, and it'll put back together. Is that what comes in, is it? That one, the hole's bigger. Is it? It's close to the top. You sure it goes through that hole, though? Must do. I don't think it does. It's not where it goes through there. That's how that one was. See where the hole's right at the top, though? Oh, you reckon it goes through the top? Yeah, I reckon it just goes right through it. Why is the hole? So, yeah, yes, we've got to rebuild this. Well, um, not weld, solder the cables back together and stuff, but grants a natural edit, aren't you? So, we've got that done in five minutes, top basically. No messing. But yeah, lovely little car. Literally, the only damage is the front bumper. So, bought all that. Um, what else? Obviously, going to service it service it get it more teed and all that probably use it for a little bit then set it on we have got another one over here now that's the 23 x drive 23 d i might as well show you it that's the x drive so it's four wheel drive 23 d it's still two liter m sport package automatic and the only issue with this one is this little bit of damage here so we've bought a new um 
bonnet and we're just going to repair this ourselves get new grills and get yeah oh, I did. still a two litre but it's like 200 horsepower this one I'd like to find doesn't need a little bit of messing with on the wing here fog lights fell out a little bit as well but yeah that was that duck dot on the boat got a new one of them right we'll leave him to mess with that we'll get him with putting this on basically all it is just around the um interior mirror it's just the cover's missing for some reason i don't know if someone because that cover's missing and this bit here is missing down the bottom I don't know if someone was looking for a a tracker or I don't know, maybe they were removing a tracker, I don't know. But they have not given me it back. It's a weird one. But yeah, basically just put either end of these on. I'll have to mess with that. Can't do it too handy, but yeah, just put one side on and the other side on. So I can do that. Make it look a bit better. There we go. Put that cover all on. I thought that was uh that was gonna be uh Easy job, that took me like six minutes or something. That <laughs> did not all want to go in there. But yeah, just little things like that, you know, it spruces up, doesn't it? Just little things you don't think about. This, like, I don't know why it's missing, it's just a weird thing, but obviously that foot, this bit here, just this little piece is missing on the other side, which cost me like 40 quid. I had to buy it from like Lithuania or something. So that'll be coming, I can replace that. Let's see how Grant's getting on with this headlight. Getting something. Yeah, basically you just put these pins. I'm sure there's probably a tutorial somewhere on YouTube to see how to fix these, but put that through there basically one way or the other, and probably the other way around or something with a spring on. We'll get all that fixed and sorted. Make sure you're putting us putting us putting it back on the car then. Then we can get this uh, door panel all back on. Then all we've got to do then. Wait for the bumper to come, wait for the headlight, get all that sorted. Both the high beams are, bulbs are uh, dead, so we need to change both of them. And then it should be pretty much ready to go to our service and MLT. So, uh, yeah, see you in a couple of days when we've uh, sorted all that out. All right, it's a little darker now. No reason, it's a grand. No. No. <laughs> you did it really quickly, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is fixed. Um, go on, give him a little demo. It looks like a robotic, I don't know, something. Without any of its coverings on. But yeah, that's folding in and out now. It was just this spring, guys. It was an absolute nightmare. If you look at any videos on it, these springs, you had to compress it and stuff. You can see the... Um, cables all back together the ground did. Basically we're just gonna get some plastic all the plastic trims and put them all back on now. Rebuild it then we can put the door car back on as well. So we'll quickly do that and then we'll be done for today. But yeah. But oh. oh it's not working again. None of them are working. You've done it too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it's that. Nah, it'll be, it'll be something. Alright, we'll put all these back together and then we'll Alright, we've got it all built back up now. Apart from this little bit here at the bottom. Obviously that needs painting. But, a good clean. Door cards going on. I'll just move it out while he's unscrewing it, that's fine. <laughs> Days. I'll be that one all sorted in a minute. <laughs> Push it back. Just dink my door into the wall, but it's like. Oh my god, it's free. It's like minus two, bro. I can't feel my fingers. Cool. I need to find that little piece. I think it must be at my house. A little bit there at the bottom. I left it at mine. Right, let's finish off putting all this back together. Right, I'm gonna give this attempt at just hoovering, just hoovering a bit of that out because it's 
pretty disgusting, so. Got an old hoover here that we don't care about, so. Try hoover that up, see what happens. I'll have the seat belt and everything. But we'll start with hoovering just so it's not about well, let's just go through with some. Do you just want to try and get off dry? You don't want to make it more wet. All right, this is the next day. Um, you are going to see it. The next bit of clip was from yesterday, but I just wanted to, sh obviously you've just seen how dirty this was. So I just wanted you to see it straight away afterwards. But um, yeah, that's just with hoovering. I mean, obviously it's still dirty, but it's nowhere near as bad. See down there as well. You know, it's just a quick hoover around. Let's see, it's slow as anything, but you can see with just a quick hoover it's got rid of most of like mold all i'll do now is get a brush dry brush it then hoover again and then use like minimum chemicals for the minute but then once i get it back in action driving the car and then i'll be using it then i can give it a proper clean just because i don't want to get it too wet because it'll just go moldy again but yeah that's all cleaned now i'm going to go back to yesterday and we're trying to attempt to fix this mirror you can see I have two. All right, back to the next day. And you can see I've got a zip tie on that because the spring came out again. Also, obviously that little cap's missing. I found one of the little caps online, 40 quid. Get this painted, I don't know, 20, 30 quid. Gotta take it back apart, respring it. I thought, I'll just buy a new one because it'd be easier, probably cheaper, quicker. So, I'll take it all back apart again, door panel, that Grant nicely put it back on for me. Smack the new wing mirror back on. Take that old one off. I will fix this one, and then maybe try to sell it or something separately. Just make some money back, but it's going to be easier and quicker just to put that new one on, so. Get that new one fitted. I'm not going to record it all, because, you, you know, just take the door pad out, three screws, and a plug. So, I'll we'll get that done. Just gonna put this new um, air duct bit in that we were missing, that I thought. I can do it without taking all apart. I'll quickly squeeze that in one sec. There we go, got that little bit on. Nice and situated properly. I just unscrewed this one and this bolt and slipped it in. But yeah, that's all sorted now. So, get onto the wing mirror. All right, this is the old one. It's the springs came loose again, which I'm gonna have to fix. I've got the new one on. All works as should. Pop the key in for you. Push this little button. Lovely gubbler. If I move the mirror down, up, right, left. So that's that sorted. All the door cards back together. Put all the screws in. There's five screws. Three along here, two along here. And put the covers back on. Clip this back in. Speakers all working. Door works. So windows work. All right, I'll just show you the outside. go it's that little cover that i'm missing on my other one yeah when we're all clean and i'll give it a little wash but i'll need to love a little one yeah what's that sorted all right we're finally back on the uh x1 we've built all the headlight back up just did that off camera because it's an absolute nightmare but just taking this like cover off so we can bolt it to the headlight and we'll bolt the headlight back on Got this cover plate that Grant stole for the other one. So we just put that one back on. And then we can connect the bumper, put all the fog lights in, and the sensors and stuff. The front end will be built back up. Monday I'll have number plate for the front. Then I can go for MOT and see what that needs. Hopefully nothing. Then just need to service it. Just ratchet shit. <laughs> oh no. You know when the like zero tolerance this one's a fucking 90, 90. Need my covers as well, Grand Chard. 
Here's a headlight. <laughs> Did you always steal enough me mush? Yeah, this these are like six hundred quid each, which is insane. What are these by Zeon or Zeon? Just Zeon headlights. Zeon headlights. Danger lies and all that, so we rebuilt it. So that's that one. It's this one. I'm probably gonna need a polish now because the lens will look not as good. <clears throat> yeah. Is that off, is it? No. This thing is white. Alright. We'll get this cover off, bolt it on, put the headlight in. Right, got the new headlight in. There's an 8mm up here. You can screw. And there's lots of T30s. Two down there, two up top. And there's one up here, like down there, and there's one like down there. Oh, there's another actually. Three. There's one over there as well. Behind that cable. That's all tightened up and in. Probably not in the right place at the minute, but roughly. I'm just taking the vent off here, so take this metal clip off and then put it through the front shield. I don't know whether it's like an air guide, I guess. And then fit it all back together. All right, like I said, headlights all sorted, both sides. Got this um, like shroud air intake on there's four bolts up top all t30s one t30 there one in there one in there and then two for this metal thing behind here take these out they're t25s yeah that's all secure now so i'm gonna get the bumper fit her up see what happens All right, guys, it's been a couple of days. Got the front bumper on now. Just put that number plate on. Got them sorted as well. Just quickly show you the back number plate. Fresh plates on. Got this little tent up for uh, so we're dry. But yeah, got this front bumper all on. That's obviously the headlight that one needs a polish now. Grant's just shot on the Arch line is out because you have to take them out to put these bolts in. So he's just messing with that. He's put the under tray on as well. Under tray's on. But yeah, it looks good. Panel gaps. This one, we need to take the arch line out and put this bolt in. So that'll get look a little nicer in a minute. Bolt along the top. Just shut the hood a second. That's that gap. On these X1s, they always look a bit huge, so that's, that looks like spot on now all the way along. Same length. Needs a good clean inside, but yeah. Looking like a car again. Um, these are broken, so they, they work, but the cover the one here is, is meant to attach to these, and the, the mounting clip is broke, so I need to buy two of them. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much ready for MOT now, I think, so. I'm just going to sort this bumper out, make sure it's solid. Get these little bolts that you put on the edges all in, and then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. All right, so you've just seen us, obviously, build the car back up. Um, after that, went on a little test drive, and there was quite a bit of smoke coming out of the back. So we spent ages trying to diagnose it and figure out what the problem was. And we're pretty sure it's a turbo, so there's going to be there's going to be another video on taking the turbo apart. Well, I've already taken it apart, but there'll be a video of putting it back together, the new one, and I'll show you the old turbo. But yeah, there was loads of smoke coming out the back, so um, I'm cutting the video here basically, so you get to see it, and then we'll make another video on fitting the turbo, and hopefully that should be it, servicing it, MOT it, and then hopefully that should that should be all basically, but. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a like if you enjoyed it and uh, see you later.